Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll talk about how to pair dress shoes and jeans. Now, some of you might find yourselves unsure of how to properly style yourselves when wearing dress shoes or jeans. Well, I'm here to tell you it is more than possible to pull off wearing dress shoes and jeans while maintaining some personality and a sense of professionalism. However, we don't simply wanna wear any dress shoes with any pair of jeans you might happen to have lying around in your closet. There are a few key things to look out for to make sure that your end result looks clean cut and effortless. Now let's first examine style, fit, and color, and the correct and incorrect aspects of these categories. First, let's start out with correct style. Now the style of the jeans that we're gonna be looking for are clean cut, timeless, preferably in a dark wash. A few dress shoes to consider wearing with these jeans would be derbies, monk straps, loafers, or even brogues. Now desert boots or chaka boots could also be considered for more casual occasions. Now let's move on to the correct fit. Now, first and foremost, the jeans should properly fit the wearer's body type. Now, for more information on how to determine your ideal fit in jeans, check out this video here. And now let's talk about the correct color. Now, the goal here is to make sure that the color of the shoes and jeans that you choose don't detract from the rest of your outfit. We really want to make sure that the color of the dress shoes and the jeans will complement one another. So it's very important to select a very versatile color of shoe and a very neutral or dark color in your jeans. Now let's talk about the incorrect way to go about doing this. Now regarding style, the incorrect way to go about doing this would be to wear jeans that are inconsistent with the style of your shoes. For example, wearing jeans in a modern style, but dress shoes that happen to look much more classic. Now this causes an onlooker to believe that some element of your outfit might have been an afterthought as the styles do not complement one another. Now you really wanna avoid jeans that are distressed and highly embellished. Jeans that have overtly large pockets or even pocket details. Also try to avoid jeans that have very large pronounced contrast stitching. Now it might seem obvious, but we also really want to avoid wearing patent leather evening dress shoes or even some kind of a hybrid shoe. These are pretty popular right now, but this will detract from the rest of the outfit. Now let's move on to incorrect fit. Now it's important to avoid ill-fitting and unflattering jeans that are either too loose or far too tight. Wearing jeans that are too short or far too long is also incorrect. Now you should also avoid jeans that are gonna sit too low on your waistline. Now this will become an issue when you start tucking in your shirt and wearing a belt. If you're not wearing a sport coat or a sweater to cover your waistline, you might notice that your untucked shirt might become exposed rather quickly. Finally, let's talk about incorrect color. Try to avoid jeans in non-neutral colors with a lot of fading or whiskering over the thigh and or seat area. It's very important to stay consistent with the general style of your outfit. If you don't, certain elements of your outfit will stand out for all the wrong reasons. We want to make sure that you remain as the focus. The clothing is here to complement you, not absorb all the attention. Now let's take a look at some of the myths people carry about wearing dress shoes with jeans. Myth number one. I'll just go ahead and wear any style of jeans with my outfit. I'll just elevate it with a pair of dress shoes. No, in fact, this is not accurate. Just because a pair of shoes is listed as dress shoes doesn't indicate that they should be worn with that particular outfit. And in the same way, not all jeans will work for all situations, personalities, or body types. Now do your best to stay away from bootcut jeans and instead look for a pair that is as tapered as your body type will allow. Now the lack of excess fabric found in your jeans will in fact give your outfit a very clean finish. Unless, however, you are a very muscular man with larger legs, in which case you may need to look for a more regular fit. Myth number two, I have to wear really short and narrow jeans like those hipsters in order to look stylish. No, in fact, it is not a requirement to wear your jeans too tight or too short in order to look stylish. Now, as mentioned earlier, slim fit is ideal, but in fact, you should only wear things as slim as your body type will allow. Now, myth number three, as long as the shoes look vaguely like dress shoes, then everything will be fine. No, actually, it's very important that you invest in as good of a pair of dress shoes as you can afford, as opposed to getting faux leather or plastic looking shoes that might be coming from a fast fashion brand. Now, a majority of your outfit with jeans may lean more casual, so you wearing good quality leather shoes will help raise the standard of your entire outfit. Now that we've discovered how to best pair dress shoes and jeans, now let's look at a few different outfit ideas on how we can make this entire outfit feel complete. Number one, the sport coat and dress shirt. Now this is one of the most popular combinations men wear. Now if you have proper fitting sport coat options at your disposal, this outfit will be fairly simple to put together. 
Now the key here is to make sure that the color selection is accurate and that the patterns, whether that be found in your shirt, your pocket square, or your jacket, are complementing one another and not competing. Number two, the turtleneck and sport coat. Now this outfit is also fairly simple to pull off, but is best suited for a colder season. Now if you currently don't own any turtlenecks, I would recommend that you start looking for some in neutral colors in either a merino wool or a cashmere blend. Now try to find some that are also not too bulky because it's important to maintain some sense of freedom of movement underneath your sport coat. Number three, the sweater and dress shirt. Now the dark wash jeans you're wearing are gonna pair nicely with a variety of different sweater colors. Now the simplest way to pull off this outfit is to start out with solid colored sweaters. This is gonna look great over both pattern or solid colored shirts. Try to steer clear of sweaters that are too bulky. Now if you don't plan on wearing a sport coat with this outfit, try also looking for a shawl collared sweater as well. And now here are a few extra tips to make sure that your experience wearing jeans with your dress shoes goes off without a hitch. Now first, don't go sockless. Please, the noses of the entire world will thank you. But seriously, without the ability to breathe, your feet will begin to smell and sweat and can possibly ruin the interior of your shoes. It's not a good thing. At the very least, throw on a pair of no-show socks and keep your sweaty feet at bay. Next, it's important to not wear flat black or straight white socks with your dress shoes and jeans. The white socks will look quite distracting and almost as though they are missing their sneaker counterparts. Wearing black socks might look too formal or dressy with this outfit with jeans. Instead, start by looking for a unique color and or pattern to add some life to your ankles. And for some great sock options, check out the Fort Belvedere shop here. And finally, it's important to remember that a little contrast can actually go a long way. Now with your dress shoes, it's best to opt for a shade of brown as that's gonna offer you the most versatility. When it comes to other shoe colors you can consider, there's blue, there's gray, there's many, many others, but a shade of brown will offer you the most options. Now let's go over a few different ways in which you can accessorize this new outfit. Now you can always add a classic watch, a signet ring, a pocket square, or even a signature scent. Now for more information on fragrances for men, check out this video here. Also to find a number of phenomenal pocket squares to help polish off your outfit, check out the Fort Belvedere shop here. So in conclusion, it's important to remember that you can absolutely wear dress shoes with your jeans. However, there are some things to avoid to make sure that your entire outfit looks effortless and timeless. Also, please remember, not all dress shoes are gonna look good with all jeans. The dress shoes should complement and not compete with the rest of your outfit. Complete your outfit with a variety of different combinations, but if you can't decide on what to wear, try one of the outfit combinations that we suggested earlier. Now today I'm wearing a tan and white plaid sport coat along with a burgundy sweater over a white dress shirt. And then I'm pairing that with a really unique burgundy paisley print pocket square from Fort Belvedere. I'm pairing that against a dark wash indigo slim fit denim and some suede leather dress shoes. And I'm also wearing a navy blue and burgundy shadow stripe Fort Belvedere pair of socks as well to finish off the entire look and to tie in nicely with the Fort Belvedere pocket square and my burgundy sweater. I also could wear this entire outfit with a pair of dark brown suede chucka boots as well.